Hi, so uh, quickly I just want to share with you a, a tip that uh, I just, it just dawned on me. <laughs> so I wanted to share it with you all. Um, if you are a crafter and you like to use X-Acto knives or any of those kind of uh, box cutters or things like that, and you always want a surface to cut on but you don't have one of those green mats or cutting mats or anything like that, well... Um, especially if it's a smaller craft. I came up with it today. By chance. Um, use those plastic cutting boards that you use for food, but use them for your crafts. So I have one that we use for our daughter's Play-Doh because she likes to cut her Play-Doh with those uh, paper, they're not paper, uh, wooden knives for Play-Doh. Um, but she likes to do that because she just, you know, she knows mom does that with onions and things like that. So she's playing. Um, but yeah, um, I just figured out we could use that. So <laughs> here, I'll show you what we have. So yeah, this is the one that I have. So pro tip number one. <laughs> use one of these. So I'm, so I'm, I'm doing a craft for, um. Sunday school. So, um, and I have an X-Acto knife and I was like, well, I need a board and I didn't have one. So I'm going to use this. So yeah. <laughs> um, and I'll show you that process too. All right. So I just wanted to share that pro tip with you. So if you don't have one of those green fancy mats with the measuring, yeah, they are nice to have the measuring, but you could still use a ruler with this if you needed to. But this project I really don't need to because I already have the outline already on Jesus. But, uh, but yeah, so <laughs> just uh, figured I would share. All right, have a good day.